So that day started out as any other. I wasn't, I, I got out of bed not feeling any different than I normally do. And then after I ate and the morning went on, I started to feel a little indigestion. And I went to the store and um, as I was walking around, the indigestion turned more in, into a, a burning, like a, like a, like a heartburn. And um, then I started feeling pressure and I started having trouble breathing. I felt like I was starting to sweat and then I, then I began to worry. I had heard heart attacks sometimes. Um, people say they feel like they have heartburn or indigestion. So I had started with that heartburn sensation, that feeling, and it turned into a, a, a crushing, squeezing feeling in my chest. It was really scary. So then I called my wife on the phone and told her how I was feeling and where I was. And I was really worried because the indigestion that I had had gotten worse. And she had told me that was a good, I should go to the doctor. So I called 911 and that's when the fire department came and the paramedics were able to um, start treating me. And, and that's when they were determining that I was actually having a heart attack. Hey. Yeah, remember I was telling you this morning, ma'am, I had that heartburn, it's gotten worse. I'm here at Walmart now trying to get this block and it's bad. It's going up to my chest and I, I can't breathe. It's, it's hurting in my chest, it's hurting my stomach and it's got me short of breath. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call an ambulance. All right, go, okay. After I left the cath lab, the doctors were telling me that calling 911 early was uh, very important with, the, with the, the paramedics getting there and, and treating me and getting me to the helicopter and flying me to their facility so I could go immediately to the cath lab. They said that that, was, that saved that heart muscle and I've heard that time is muscle and once I started experiencing the, the pain and the discomfort and experiencing the signs and symptoms from the heart attack I was having, that was a result of the muscle being damaged or dying. And the treatments that they immediately started giving me, the nitroglycerin, the oxygen, and the aspirin, started reversing that, and it was able to um, give me that window of time for the um, doctors to perform the catheterization once I arrived there, and essentially saving the heart muscle that I was losing due to the heart attack. Hey, how you doing? I'm Roger with the fire department here to check you out. What's going on? I had this indigestion burning in my stomach and all. I got you. What's your name? Uh, Dan. Dan, how old are you? 47. 47? Uh, it started this morning early and it's just I, the heartburn, like indigestion. You go check going your up, vitals real quick? It's going up to my chest and uh, mm -hmm. burning bad, man. It's burning in my chest and going to my back and are you allergic to anything I'm trouble breathing. Uh, not that I know of no okay you take any medications for anything no 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 medication what were you doing before I uh, just nothing I just drove myself up to Walmart and I walked in here I was just looking at these blocks right here that's I haven't oh, done anything else yeah let's get you to sit we'll down on this right sit up on the stretcher here okay uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Stop yeah. yeah I got that mm -hmm.
Call it to the R Medic 26. Medic 26, this is called in the R. Stimmy alert, stimmy alert. Paramedic Johnston, home medic 26, en route to your facility with a 47 year old male patient. Chief complaint of sudden onset of chest pain. We have completed and transmitted an EKG and we found ST elevations in leads V1 and V2. Vital signs are blood pressure 140 over 90, respirations rate of 18, heart rate of 98, and oxygen saturation of 100%. Patient is receiving oxygen via nasal cannula at four liters per minute. We're currently attempting IV access. Please have the emergency room doctor confirm the ST elevations on the EKG and we are requesting orders to transport the patient to a PCI facility. Out of war, medic 26 just sent over a STEMI alert. Yeah, it looks like a STEMI. Please go ahead and activate code STEMI. Alrighty. Medic 26 for Dr. Ward. He concurs with your interpretation of ST elevation and has given orders to proceed to a PCI facility. Copy call to medic 26 clear. Mm. Sir, the, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate your pain right now? Um, it's about a 5. It started uh, when y'all got here, it was probably about a 4, now it's about a 5. Okay, so it's getting um, worse? Yeah, well, All right. it's just getting more widespread, you know. All it's right. moving, and I can really feel it's not going away. Well, Mike's going to give you some nicer glycerin. It's going to go under your tongue, okay? He's going to spray it under your tongue. Okay. Hold it up, hold it up, and it up. All right. Mm. Yeah. Now that's going to give you a little headache in a little bit, okay? But it'll help with the pain in your chest. Alright. Alright, Mike, let's get yeah. going to the, to the hello pad. Alright, now a few minutes since I gave you that pain medicine. Does it seem to be helping any? I think so. Okay. I think so, yes. Earlier you gave me a pain scale of a five. How does it feel right now? I think I got a headache now and you told me that because of that nitro, I guess. But I guess my pain now is uh it's not as widespread but it's still there. It's still there? It's still there. I, I would say a three or a four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, three or a four. Your blood pressure is up. fine department and the paramedics for the quick response and being able to treat me and determine right away that I was having a heart attack and communicating with the local hospital and the helicopter and getting me to the the um, the cath lab and and essentially saving me from the heart attack that I was having I was just so amazed I had no idea that the fire department paramedics were capable of such a great treatment and care and being able to um, to help me and treat me as quickly as they did and get me where I needed to go.